Hello there. This is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and it is Saturday, the 8th of May, 2021. My, how the year is flying by, isn't it? Um, interesting week. I mean, I, I know I say that. Uh, different week. Frustrating week. Let's, let's look at it that way. It was a week of frustration and uh, stuff. Uh, first off, had to uh, make some plans because my friend Joan, who brings me to ShopRite every Thursday, uh, injured her back. So, no ShopRite. And so I tried, I, I talked with a niece of mine who said, oh, I'll bring you, it'll either be Wednesday or Thursday, uh, but I'll bring you. Never brought me, and uh, in fact, on, on both days when I would call, she never answered the calls, never returned any calls. So I was screwed and tattooed. But thankfully, I was brought there today, thanks to the good graces of my friend Martha, who uh, brought me there, and I got I got what I needed to get, and so thank you, Martha. Um, so that's thing number one. Thing number two is I've been hearing from the court, not the court as in an order in the court, but as in Hale's court, um, that it, it's been time to uh, do my yearly renewal of the lease and such and such and I got a notification a few weeks ago saying we haven't gotten the papers back from you yet and they never sent me any papers so I got in touch and said what's this about you never sent me any papers and they're like oh well we were supposed to have we'll get them right out to you and this was several weeks ago no papers, no papers. I talked to a woman at the court, um, another woman at the court who said, oh, I'll make sure you get those papers. No papers, no papers, no papers, no papers, and no returning phone calls as well. That's like a theme of my week of let's not return John's phone calls. So finally, after they said they mailed them weeks ago, I got the papers today that they, it seems that they actually waited till this Thursday to mail them, and now they want them back immediately. I, I feel as if I should be cut the same slack they were cut. But, uh, hey, that's, uh, that's how it goes. Uh, meanwhile, big thanks uh, to the people that I've heard from. I've got some wonderful replies to my video of last week about dealing with hurt and moving forward and and I've gotten some good advice that I have taken you know um, I have taken the road of forgiveness which is it wasn't easy to really inside do that forgiving but I did I honestly did and uh, I'll move forward um, so the forgiveness is there I don't know when the forgetting comes. Maybe it never comes. I don't know. But we'll see. Also, I wanted to say, um, for some of you seeing this today, tomorrow is Mother's Day, and if you're one of those who is a mother, I wish you a happy and wonderful Mother's Day, and I hope that your kids uh, treat you well, as they ought to. Everyone ought to. So... Beyond that, let's see. Oh, there's a new album I'd like to highly recommend called You and Me by Nancy Wilson of the band Heart. Um, lots of nice acoustic stuff. Her voice is brilliant on it. Um, I mean, you know, people know her from doing the, the lead vocal on These Dreams, but she's a lot more than that. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful album. Um, I mean, and it came out Friday, the the seventh. So I would I would advise you to pick that up. It's worth your time if you, unless you hate good music, in which case, forget that I just said that and avoid all of that. Um, meantime, 
uh, also lots of sympathy. I've had people, uh, my friend Daniela has lost two dogs recently, and my friend Ari, her cat of 20 years. So I know how tough that can be. You know, people think, oh, it's just a pet, but it's not just a pet, especially when you've had an animal that long. It, it's, it really is a member of the family, you know. So those are tough things to uh, move forward on. But, you know, you hold your, your good memories that you had with them. And that's, that's the best you can do. So on that uh, melancholy note, I hope you're all doing well. I love you all. Get in touch. Send me an email. Give me a phone call. Ring, ring. And uh, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.